What's up, Nail Geeks? We're gonna have a little quickie today with Vapid Lacquer's new releases. This is a shimmery good quartet. Let's dive right into the swatches. First up is Stay Classy. This is described as a soft rose gold base that shifts to a green shimmer and shifts on over to violet and blue green at the most extreme angles. So I do agree that shimmer is quite shifty in person, indoor and direct lighting. You're gonna see that gorgeous goldy glow. It's very warm compared to what I'm gonna say as a cool toned pink base. And so it gives you that very flattering color, especially if you have warm undertones like myself. I think two to three coats is perfect for full opacity on this. Even though I have a very strong free edge happening right now, uh, I thought two coats was still perfect. This is very versatile. And at the end of the video, uh, you'll see all four polishes over a black cream to give you an idea of the versatility of them as toppers. And next up, we've got Lost in a Daydream. This is described as a crystal blue base full of shimmer that flips red, green, gold. And we've also got a bright blue flash with red and copper hints of color. This one also has a, a iridescent rainbow of flakes. This is really fun. In person, I can easily see that there's this definitely a kaleidoscope of shimmer and it starts off on the lighter side. So again, I got the, the vibes of versatility from this one too, but um, it's really interesting how it builds up. I don't think this is very light in terms of the formula. After you go up to the second coat, it easily builds up and I was pleasantly surprised with how opaque I got it at three light coats. This does have quite a bit of that squishy factor, so I'm gonna suggest going in lighter on your coat just to allow it to slowly build up as trust. Even though it starts off light, it will give you full coverage. And next up, we've got Super Bloom. This is described as a teal base with blue, magenta, purple shifting shimmer and larger particle interference in red, orange, gold, green that takes the stage. So I do agree with that description. We've got a little bit of a backdrop of uh, shimmer action happening, but we also have these interesting looking flakes. They lay down very flat against the nail, so no issues there, but they give you this strong, in my opinion, foiled-like effect. So we have, uh, I'm gonna go out on a whim and say it's like a, a foil shimmer hybrid. So there's lots of sparkle, but there's also that slight reflective look because of that foily-like appearance. I think three coats for this one too is perfect. Uh, it does start off light, but again, you'll be pleasantly surprised with how well it gives you full coverage at that third coat. Go in light for the squishy factor and then finish with a glossy top coat because this one also dries down flat. And lastly, we have Ooh Trippy. This is described as a very sheer purple jelly base with metallic, almost chrome-like finish that shifts from purple to pink to green in a pastel-y sort of manner. This one and Stay Classy are probably my top picks in the collection. If you're struggling to pick uh, one based off of budgeting or whatnot, because girl, I feel you. The first one, the pink Stay Classy, and this one are my favorites. This is so lovely. This is what I consider a true foiled-like finish. It's got that gorgeous reflective sort of appearance with that uh, flaky metallic sort of finish, and it easily builds up for me at two coats. If you go in super light, I could see you needing a third coat, but this does offer quite a bit of opacity in how it applies, and it easily shifts over to that pinky sort of metallic look, over to that delicious sort of green that you can see on my swatch here. Now, just for simplicity's sake, I am using one coat of each polish in the quartet over a black cream. This is Vapid Pessimist. If you're curious, it's a one coat black cream. If you haven't tried Vapid's Optimist and Pessimist, her uh, black and white creams, um, I definitely recommend, they're wonderful. But I digress. So each one looks fantastic over a black cream. You can see that they all have quite a bit of versatility. If you wanted to wear them over a cream or if you wanted to wear them over um, even lighter creams too, I could see it making more of a pastel sort of look, almost like a pearly effect, but darker colors, you're obviously gonna exploit the shimmers in each of these. They are packed full, as you can see. One coat, in my opinion, is really all you need. If you went up to two coats over a cream, I could see that being just a touch of overkill, and then they're gonna be a little too opaque, in my opinion. Again, these all dry down flat, so I'm gonna suggest going in with a very good glossy top coat, PS Vapid. 
<laughs> yes, Vapids is good too. I think Baby agrees with me. These are going to release this Saturday, April 29th at 2 p.m. Central. I'm gonna have all of this information broken down in the description box below, and I'll also link you to Vapids Facebook group. Chris did say that there is going to be Flope, Scrubs, Nail Elixir, Body Mists, and more. All of the scents for this release are gonna be new, and she's gonna be posting them to the Facebook group probably today. Um, it's Monday, so early in this week. So I can't wait to see them. I definitely recommend joining the Facebook group so you can see the official announcement for all this information. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.